Gentlemen, let's talk about soldering guns. I bought this one about two years ago and I use it constantly. I absolutely love this thing. It's pretty safe to say this is my favorite soldering gun. If I had any complaints at all about this one is that it's a little bit big and bulky in the hand, tips big. It gets heavy after a while, especially if you're doing a lot of soldering work and your hand gets fatigued. I've been wanting one of these little guys forever. Really light in the hand. It's got a nice tiny tip on it. Problem is most of these are AC and I really love the portability of the DC soldering gun. So, that seems to be a problem. So I was perusing eBay one day and I came across this. It's a Cheapo Quicko, a T12-942. And the beauty of this thing is, well, it plugs, this iron plugs into it, for one thing. But, it's DC. Up to 24 volts. They say, in the pictures, it says 16 to 24 volts. And I thought, wow, that's brilliant. If I could only come up with a way to plug it into one of these oh my dreams would come true well it didn't take long to find one of these and this just fits onto there <laughs> now it's brilliant so I'm gonna Put all this together and see if we have something. Ooh. So after playing with my newfound toy for a little bit, I allowed it to power itself down. Uh, it's neat because the iron itself has a, uh, a motion sensor in it. So if, after a few minutes of inactivity, it uh, powers itself off. If you'll watch the amps on the uh, watt meter here, I'm going to turn it on and boom. The most I could get it to draw was two and a half amps. That's not bad and it heats up very fast. And then it uh, goes down and hovers around half an amp. And at the very most, it was 45 watts. So, uh, so all in all, I'm very impressed with this little thing. Now I'm gonna solder this together with his big brother.
There we go. Not terribly pretty, but uh, it's functional. Oh yeah, the error message because the iron is not plugged in. Here, let's turn it off for a second. Once it's plugged in, no more error message. All right, fire it up here. It's just amazing how fast this thing heats up. I've been playing with it for a while now and it's not even affecting the battery. So, all right, 400 degrees. This is just some regular 6040 solder. And it's melting it right away, like, it's great, it's just great. Okay, so I turned all the auto off functions off and uh, cranked it up to 400 degrees and it's been sitting here an hour now. Let's check how many bars we have. Oh wow, went down one bar. Plus I was playing with it yesterday for a little bit. So, I mean, really, even if the thing goes down in a bar an hour, it's still awesome. <laughs> I'm a happy guy. So, I just wanted to show you this quick and dirty way to throw together a DC soldering system. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it'll, I mean, it works in a pinch, right? Something to throw in your truck. Just in case. Give her a thumbs up if you thought this was worthwhile. And uh, you can always subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And uh, we'll see you next time.